Alright guys, so I filled up the board with part A of uh, 5.16, so I'm just going to do part B of, in its own video here. Uh, the second part of that problem asks, uh, what would the speed of the block of ice be at the bottom um, if there was a frictional, a constant frictional force of 10 newtons? So, uh, first of all, we can just use... Uh, Newton's law that force is equal to mass times acceleration. And then we can rearrange that to be acceleration is equal to force divided by mass. And we know what our force is. Um, in, uh, we know what both of these are actually. In this case we have a force of 10 Newtons divided by 8 kilograms is equal to 1.25 meters per second squared. And we're going to plug this acceleration into uh, the kinematical equation we used in part A for velocity. Um, that's going to be velocity squared is equal to V naught plus 2 times our acceleration times our distance. And once again we know that we started from rest, our starting velocity is zero. And what we're trying to find in this case is our velocity. So we can just set velocity equal to the square root of 2 times our acceleration here, 1.25 meters per second squared, times our distance, which, which once again is 1.5 meters. So then uh, we multiply this all out and we find that this is the square root of 2.51 meters per uh, uh, meter squared over seconds uh, to the fourth, and then we have our square root there, which will take it down to meters per second, and that's going to be 1.6 meters per second. 